Hey, uh, can you play something on that boom box of yours? Why? Why? What do you mean why? Is there something you lose oh, from right, doing? Oh, right, right. Phew, you almost made me lose my cool there for a second. Roblox videos, as you know, could be weird, or even a little sketchy. But, you have to get views somehow, whether it's really stupid or not. I'm Peter, and I'm going to tell you how a Lego Minecraft based game became one of my most played games. When I joined, the people that owned Roblox seemed to be greedy. Saying corrupt would be an exaggeration, but saying they were improving the website would certainly be a misconception. The spelling and grammar used by the community is neglected to this day, but it never failed to bring me right back to the homepage of the website. Alright, pick another song. This is getting kind of annoying. Okay, got you. Wow, you pick It's Raining Tacos out of all the songs. You could have picked any other song that wasn't this What do you one. mean? This what do you expect me to say? This is Raining Tacos! What do you do? Roblox officially released on the 1st of September 2006. Now, I personally started learning how to walk around that time. Roblox didn't nearly have the amount of people playing the game as they do now. Roblox began growing in popularity from around 2015 to 2018. There were a lot of Roblox YouTubers at the time. And keep in mind, this is before the YouTube apocalypse, so the senses of humor in these YouTubers were sometimes vulgar. There were three categories of Roblox YouTubers in this time. There were either really funny kinds, the really weird kinds, and the Roblox Myth channels. Now, I stumbled upon Roblox all by myself, through were not on YouTube. I joined January 26, 2016, but I kind of lost interest after three months of playing. But around February, I saw a channel that wasn't like any other channel I've seen. It was called Albert Stuff, now known as Flamingo. It was like watching a Muppet play Roblox, but maybe not as child-friendly. Years of paying five bucks a month, I finally had to cancel my Club Penguin subscription. I just couldn't handle the stress the game brings me anymore. Here comes the fall. Yeah, this guy needs to shut up. I think the fall is all because of him. Now, this is some pretty hilarious stuff back in 2016. Only he would go out in his underwear to break his computer keyboard. That was comedy gold. After watching a ton of his vids, I looked for more channels like him. And then I came across Green Lego Cats 123. He was a prime reason I even played Roblox. He would do exploit videos while using a script injector that would override the server's anti-exploit code. Which in short means he would hack Roblox servers, but not just any servers. Roleplay servers. With good reason too. Roblox has a policy about online dating to prevent situations where your quote unquote Roblox boyfriend or girlfriend said they wanted to meet up with you, like at a park or at your house even. Your Roblox loved one would then either rob you or even kidnap you. As dumb and funny as it may sound, I'm sure it's happened before. I know that people like you aren't that stupid, but there are people like that and they could be naive too. These roleplay games were a prime place for people that might want to rob or kidnap these naive people. Roblox did try to take down places that would have online dating within them. But then the roleplay server creators found the perfect excuse to keep these places from being taken down. Yup. No online dating allowed. Roblox couldn't do anything to the games that had this rule written down because the creator would accuse Roblox of being evil. Or something like that. It would make him look bad. And why should they ever take the servers down? It's written down right there. How could it happen if the rule is right there? Did this change anything? Did the developers of these games defeat catfishing once and for all? No. It didn't. Nothing changed. The only thing that changed is the fact that the place can't be taken down anymore. So it was up to people like Green Lego Cats to discourage these catfish and make them go back to the dark web or something like that. After I learned what he did to exploit these servers like that, I did the exact same thing. The scripts for these hacks 
were pre-written, which means that I could have made my own, which was amazing. I could be a god among mere mortals. And I was. I would eliminate anyone online dating through a video game. Kind of got off topic there, but you got the point. After playing around with the hacking and all that, I took rest from it all and became a normal Robloxian once again. All that exploiting did eventually get boring after basically all the catfish seemed to leave. But messing around with people just for your enjoyment without causing actual harm to the server or that person was both hilarious and a great way to ventilate. Wow, I'm at Koala Cafe. Wow, I always wanted to be here. Oh no. Oh my god, this is horrible music. Don't ever let me listen to this again. The brown one. <laughs> Yeah, I'll have the brown smoothie too. Psych. <laughs> Psych. <laughs> Got him. You're doing a lousy job, Jerrica. You keep this up and I'll have to speak to the manager. I'm still waiting on my brown smoothie, Jerrica 180. Psych. Have a horrible day. Thank you. More like opposite of thank you. I'm gonna litter. I'm gonna litter. And there's nothing they could do. There, I'm spilling it on the floor right there. Yep, I'm spilling it. Ah! <laughs> 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 Towards the beginning of the video, you may recall me calling the creators greedy throughout the years. Well, it's true. Kinda. But today, they weren't nearly as ruthless. On Roblox, there were two currencies, ticks and Robux. Ticks were acquirable through daily login rewards. Robux, on the other hand, were only obtainable through purchase. You know, real money. But, one day, something tragic happened. Ticks were deleted from existence on April 14, 2016. Many mourned upon the loss of these ticks. It was because they had been saving up for a really expensive item that took them forever to save up to, only to find their hard work immediately deleted the next day. I personally had 167 ticks when they were deleted, which wasn't a lot since 500 would get you the cheapest hat on the catalog, but other people had millions saved either through purchase, or through thousands of days of logging in. So, in other words, for others it was a big impact, and for others like me, they wouldn't even be affected. Roblox got rid of these ticks for no good reason. It didn't cause any inconvenience, in fact, I think it kept the player base attached to the game. The only reason that would make sense would be because they wanted the only way to obtain in-game currency to be through real money. Now, I'm not sure this was very just of them to do, since the platform was growing by the second and had already tons of money. But some things you can't change, so we all moved on from this. But over the years, Roblox didn't really seem to improve. The only thing that really changed was the logo. This kind of tells us that the removal of ticks made no difference. But then, something worse happened. On October 3rd, 2017, guests were beginning to be removed, one group at a time, all the way up until November 24, 2018, when they all were officially wiped out from existence. Guests were a way that people could play the game without having to make your own account, with the cost of not being able to talk. They were well known for being an unintelligent species, but never will be forgotten, I think. Robux was making a lot of changes while it was growing and the community didn't necessarily like them. Around 2017, Robux has changed its logo to a Cheez-It, guests and ticks were removed, and the Ninja Turtle scam bot accounts were getting smarter. But this was entertainment to me. It was like watching a city burn all while somehow staying intact. And the only reason it was still intact was the community, the Robloxians, whatever you want to call them. In at least every server you join, there's always someone that is willing to help you and is willing to put the time into teaching you how a game works by giving you that push on the bicycle by 
supplying you with overpowered items that they once willed. Or even sometimes they give everything they had because they were going to move on to another game within Roblox. And after them moving to that new game, they would have someone to help them learn how to play. And then the cycle would repeat, except maybe giving you all the overpowered stuff. But there was always something that they offered you. Hope. Hope that you could eventually learn to play the game. By yourself it's hard to keep trying to figure out something you don't understand. It's doable, but you tend to give up sometimes. But with the assistance of an experienced player, you can easily find what you need. You just have to ask, and they'll tell you. These people eventually friend request you and then play a few games with you. That's why almost everyone has a full friends list. But after a while, they want to take a break from Roblox. And that's perfectly fine, but there is one thing that they will eventually realize. There's no game like Roblox. You can't go from playing to a horror game straight to a tycoon game in Call of Duty. You can't build and code your own game from scratch, whether you're trained or not, and have other people play in it just by simply pressing publish in Assassin's Creed. Only Roblox can give you hundreds of thousands of games made by people just by searching the words tower of defense. Only Roblox can bring you that close to someone you don't know what they look like or what they sound like. Only Roblox could do that.